So I uh, recently ran out of fuel in my sailboat and I'm having uh, engine problems. Can't get the fuel lines primed up so I'm going to attempt to take off the fuel pump and see if there's any issues there. So this is where I get to my engine. So I'm just going to take off some of these things. No real good place to put these but I'll put them over here for now. Um, I got some, this is just to collect some fuel that spills down here, and the uh, fuel pump is in a very awkward place. Uh, let's see if we can't show you where I'm going to work at here. That is the fuel pump, and as you can see, I'm working with a universal diesel engine model, uh, you can't read it, but it says 5411, and um, I'm actually going to go to a different compartment of the boat and see if I can reach that fuel pump. So I had to buy a special wrench. Well, it's not that special, but uh, I needed a wrench with a minimal amount of excess metal on the outside because I don't have a lot of room to work. Um, but we'll see if this tool works. If not, we'll have to try something different. But uh, I'm going to climb up over here and get... Loosening the nuts for so I can dismount the fuel pump, and we'll take it off and open it up and see if we can't find any gunk or any issues why it won't work. I can actually reach that first nut easier from this side. So, but the other one I had to. Definitely had to be over there. Alright, that's the second foot that right there. This should come off. There we go. I've actually already disconnected uh, some of the hoses, so I don't have to worry about that right now. Here is my fuel pump. Um, it's an automatic electrical fuel pump and if I just take these screws off I can open it up and uh, clean it out if I have to. But... So uh, here is a manual primer that I got um, for my 5 8 hose. And uh, I can squeeze this and make sure there's no issues with the, uh, the fuel line itself. Um, it is possible that it got clogged up from uh, the tank. So we just squeeze this a couple of times. Let's do it over here on the paper towel. And yes, we do have fuel. So that's actually a good sign for that. So now we know it's an issue with the, uh, the pump to the fuel filter which is actually where I tried to bleed it from originally and I never um, got any fuel coming out of that so that's how I know I have an issue with the pump okay so uh, I've already reinstalled the uh, fuel pump here and uh, what I did I just took this thing plate off sprayed it out with some WD-40 and just kind of cleaned it out um, so we should have fuel in our fuel line going directly to the pump. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna crank it over a few times and see if we can't get any fuel coming out of this nozzle. And then uh, if fuel comes out, we know that our pump is fine and we'll just, we'll work from there. Okay, so I still was having no luck with the uh, automatic fuel pump, but what I've done is I've connected uh, this manual pump directly to the fuel lines. This goes directly to the fuel filter here, where I have the first bleed valve, which I've bled it through, and then I also bled it through the second bleed valve. So what we're going to do is just, we're going to try to start it from here, and uh, it should work. We'll see. Okay, so basically what we've done is uh, kind of given her an artificial heart for now, but I'll uh, finished bleeding it and we're going to start it up and 
see if that works. Okay, thanks for watching.